Our next program is called overflow.c because it demonstrates the phenomenon of integer overflow. Very simple program. We define three chars here. i is equal to 100, j is equal to 240, and sum is going to be the sum of those two. Down in this line, we calculate sum is equal to i plus j. And then in this line here, we print out the results. So we've got percent %d here, percent %d, percent %3d. That means we're going to print these first two integers with as many spaces as is needed to print them. Whereas this third integer, we're going to print out with three spaces, even if it's shorter. So these first three integers correspond to i, j, and sum. And then we're going to print out sum one more time here as a character. That's this percent %c. So we can see the ASCII character that corresponds to the sum of i and j. And then we just do the same thing again twice more with an unsigned char version of it and a signed char version. So let's go ahead and run it. Here's the results. The first thing you might notice is that the char results here are the same as for the signed char results, which means that in our C implementation, if we say char, it defaults to signed char. The second thing we might notice is that even though we assign the value of j equal to 240, down here we can see it's got a value of minus 16. So why is that? It's because in the representation of 240, there's a 1 in the most significant bit column. And for 2's complement representation of a signed char, that's the sign bit. So the, two, the 240, we know that the sign char can only represent from minus 128 to 127. And that sign bit makes it a negative number, and it makes it negative 16. Okay. So we see the same behavior down here for the sign char because they behave the same. For unsigned char, which can represent values 0 to 255, we see that i and j get their correct values. But when we add them, we get 84 as the result. So why is that? It's because when we add them in the hexadecimal representation, we get 154. The 1 can't be rep represented in a byte. There's only two hex characters in a byte. So that gets dropped off, and we're left with the 54. And 54 in hexadecimal is the same as 84 in ASCII. And you can see here, sorry, 84 in decimal. And you can see here that the ASCII character that corresponds to the decimal number 84 is T.